with Elvis Troika. As we first reported last night, the Soviet Union's most enthusiastic Elvis Presley fan was the first in his country to get an exit visa specifically to visit Graceland. Today, Cole Yelvasen's dream came true and he got to visit the home of his idol. Vasen of Leningrad has been a fan of the King of Rock and Roll for decades. This underground recording of Jailhouse Rock cut onto a discarded sheet of x-ray film was his first Elvis record. The 44-year-old Russian sculptor said Perestroika is good, that Presley is better, and that Gorbachev is politics, but Elvis is king. He told Greeley Kyle that Graceland gave peace and joy to his spirit. I, I feel in spirit of Elvis now, and uh, I'm happy, I'm happy, and uh, I'm grateful, and uh, I uh, want uh, loud to say uh, to the world, to us, uh, to me, to you, to Elvis, thank you very much, thank you very much. The Russian music promoter's trip was made a reality by Elvis Lee Yours, a British fan club that raised close to $4,000 to pay his expenses. Elvis Stroika, you coined a new <laughs> word right there. Someone did it. Yeah. 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 Nightly news, next from New York. Bobby Littlejohn says the problem, but with a difference this year. Besides making the dream of a trip to Memphis come true for handicapped people from the United Kingdom, Elvis Lee Yor is brought along a visitor from behind the Iron Curtain this time. Fourteen Eyewitness News, Tim Chewy has the story. Cody Alvacin has gone through a year of red tape for this moment, touring Graceland, the home of his idol. Vasin is an artist in Russia, and he promotes rock and roll concerts on the sly. Concerts that are sometimes shut down by Russian police. When Elvis Lee Yours contacted Vasin about the possibility of a trip to Memphis, he immediately went to church to pray to his patron, St. Nikolai. He says his prayers have been answered, but he complains about a lack of information on Elvis Presley in his homeland. I admire Elvis. Elvis for me, father. Elvis for me, message of God. And in Russia, no, no records, no books, no posters. Uh, this, uh, this very sad and bad for me. But the sadness was all set aside today. As Vasin said, it's a time to be like the music of Elvis, happy. Wearing his newly acquired blue suede shoes, Vasin will continue his retracing of the king's life with trips to Las Vegas and Tupelo, Mississippi, while in the U.S. He says he'll take his memories home and share them with hundreds of fellow Elvis fans in Russia. Tim Chewy, 13 Eyewitness News. Field, the mental lapses in the field last yeah. night. Really. So it's coming up a year of work. Results in a dream come true for one Russian. Stay tuned. Now, there are probably very few of you who haven't heard of Sydney people talking. Absolutely. And is fulfilling a dream in Memphis. As we showed you last night, he has flown in from Russia just to visit Graceland, the home of Elvis Presley, his idol. Joe Larkin shows us what happens when Glasnost comes to Graceland. Koya Bassin is a rock and roll fan from Leningrad. He first heard the King's music on this illegal record made on x-ray film 30 years ago. His admiration for Elvis is apparent from his new blue suede shoes to his shirt and jacket. I love Elvis. I admire Elvis. Elvis for me um, is the um, greatest genius t talent of my life. Today, Mr. Vassin is getting a look at where his idol lived. It took 11 months to get Koya Vassin permission to come to the United States in Graceland. The man who helped arrange it says Mr. Vassin considers this to be a crowning achievement. And to him, it's, it's really a spiritual thing. He's coming to the home of rock and roll. Koya Vassin strolled quietly through the Graceland mansion, admiring the displays. He spent a few extra minutes by the garden where Elvis Presley is buried. The tour left an impression on him. Move of soul, traffic inside me. He says now that he's visited Graceland, the thought of returning to Leningrad leaves him with an empty and lonely feeling. Joe Larkins, News 3, Graceland. Mr. Vasin is scheduled to return to the Soviet Union October 29th after visiting Nashville and Las Vegas. And I guess now the song, Are You Lonesome Tonight, will have a special meaning for him. I bet it will. Yeah, well, I guess when he applied for the visa, they told him it was now or never. Uh, that's our news for now. I'm Pam Crittenden. Yes. It's called Presley Nost, an Elvis fan from Russia. is in Memphis tonight for his first visit to Graceland. 
Kolya Vasin has been trying for more than a year to get an exit visa to visit Graceland. The Russian music promoter's dream came true several weeks ago with the help of Elvis Lee Yours, a British fan club. The club and about 80 of its members will be visiting Elvis's home and other Memphis sites during the next two weeks. At the airport tonight, nearly 100 Elvis fans were on hand to greet their Soviet counterpart. I am ambassador of Russian rock and roll because I love rock and roll many, many years. Um, three, 30 years I love Elvis. <laughs> Stones information, on, give me Memphis, Tennessee. Even before Vassin got off the plane, he broke into renditions of Elvis songs, and as a special gift in honor of an Elvis hit, Vassin was given a pair of blue suede shoes. Welcome to Memphis. <laughs> Thanks for watching this weekend, everybody. Have a good week. Dream here in Memphis. Kolya Vassin is a rock and roll fan from Leningrad. He heard Elvis Presley's music on this illegal record made on X-ray film 30 years ago. Today he got a look at where his lifelong idol lived. I love Elvis. I admire Elvis. Elvis for me uh, is the um, greatest genius ta talent of my life. Mr. Vassin says the tour was a moving experience. He is scheduled to stay here in Memphis till October 29th, taking side trips to Nashville and Las Vegas. Something tells me nothing will touch his tour of Graceland. I've never been to Leningrad, but i got to think that would be a letdown after visiting Graceland <laughs> or Las Vegas for some reason. I think so. That's our news at this hour. I'm Jerry Tate. I'm Mary. You're watching Jameson tonight. Russia has never issued an Elvis recording, and indeed rock and roll is still officially frowned upon. But the old beat comes through loud and clear right across the Eastern Bloc of the Soviet Union. Here's the top underground rock promoter in London tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, from Leningrad, welcome Kolya Vasin with his British sponsor, Sid Shaw. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Oh, my present first. Oh, thank you so From much. From Russia, with love. There you are. <laughs> Paul McCartney is Russian. Paul McCartney is special for Russia. Special. Indeed. Now then, uh, Kolya, this is genuine, is it? Sid? What's genuine? You're not that? having me on, are you? What's, no, he's, Kolya is from Leningrad. He is a rock and roll ambassador for Russia. He is? Come on, Sid. Austin Mitchell was taken around the Houses of Parliament. Uh, yeah. Wednesday. Kolya, um, welcome. Good to see you. Thank you. You wouldn't, could, you wouldn't kid me, would you? Sid? I wouldn't kid you. No, I just can't. Now, look, why are you blushing, Sid? I'm not blushing. Sid, he, Sid runs Elvis Lee yours, you know, clear. That's in Shoreditch in, in Acme, in East End, where I'm I'm from Stepney. I'm from you Stepney. See? And Elvis Lee yours is what? It's a great sort of uh, crucible Elvis of Elvis Presley memories, memorabilia. And you've brought uh, Collier here to London. What for, Sid? Well, we're taking him on Sunday to visit Graceland. To make a dream come true. You go to Memphis. You go to Memphis. Yes, yes, yes. We fly on fifteenth of October. Of, of he October. An honorary citizen of, of Memphis, giving keys to the city. The governor of Tennessee is getting involved, and he's going to sing in Memphis. He's going to sing oh. in London at Lennon's, and uh, he is the Colonel Parker of Russia. With one big difference, he does it for love of music, not for any rubles. Yeah. Is he your hero, Elvis Presley? Yes. The biggest. Number one. Number one. And is he well known in Russia? Elvis? Do the uh, Soviet people like him? Soviet, I don't know. Young Russians, yes. Tell me, the concerts that you organize with great difficulty, what kind of audience? How many people go there, Kolya? Mm. Uh, how many people? At the concert. On the concert. 10, uh, 20, 20, very many, many. Uh, few, few hundreds. And few can hundreds, they, can yes. they get Western rock and roll music? Uh, I think all uh, all my friends, I have many, many friends uh, in Russia, listen Western rock and roll, from Elvis and Little Richard to Reggae and New Wave. Do they, they, uh, they uh, sorry, uh, know uh, every, every group, every uh, LP. Uh, in Russia, very big black market, and uh, this help us. 
Where did they hear it? Uh, on American radio, the voice of Europe and all that? Voice of America? Mm. BBC World yes. Service? Yes, yes. L radio Luxembourg, uh, my favorite station. Ah, <laughs> yes. and they pick radio it up there? Too. Radio too. BBC Radio 2? Yes. 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 Ah. yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, while you're in Britain, you're going to sing with Screaming Lord Such. Yes. A great Britain. cultural experience. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, sc screaming color such a hero of the 60s. Um, music of 60s and 50s, my favorite music. I uh, groaning with, with uh, this music. That Sid Shaw, he's fooling the whole world, but he doesn't fool me. You're not from Leningrad at all. I'm not from the company. Will you to speak to me? Actually, um, Collie, I've got news for you. I'm a fluent Russian speaker. Speak to me in Russian. Mm. Ask him why he doesn't play Elvis Presley on his program. В моей жизни случился вот такой вот трип, такое путешествие прекрасное. Simply, запросто. I, um, when, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's the English version, sorry. not the Russian version. Oh, there's a Soviet version. Uh, when, when I received uh, invitations from uh, Sid um, to visit uh, to London, Liverpool and Memphis uh, in meccas of rock and roll, I uh, catch um, myself uh, on, uh, on melody, on melody um, in my head. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, um, no, uh, I began sing uh, this uh, this song, Memphis, yeah. Tennessee, Got on it. the streets, uh, on uh, in flats, in toilet, uh, <laughs> everywhere. Well, uh, and more, more, tell yeah, it, sing it, yes. sing it for me. And I began uh, to do my version, Got my it. version, yes, you're <laughs> with uh, Allah Elvis Got Rapid Breath. <laughs> Long distance, long distance for me. Give me peace. Okay, that's it. The same show. Our time has run out. Only a half an hour tonight. What a shame. But thanks to all our guests and our wonderful audience, we'll be back at the normal time tomorrow. That's Jameson tonight, ten o'clock tomorrow night. Sky One. Bye bye. <laughs>